Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, no matter what time zone you're joining us from. I'd like to thank you on behalf of Arctic AC Sports for tuning into the stream. I've fallen back on my old intro as there's uh, not a lot to say going into this. I mean, Arctic Ace has had a rough first four matches here. Uh, they've been on a losing streak. Uh, their most recent match being against previously named Team Touchpoint, but it is now called Invicta tonight. They will be going up against Team Lego Peak V2. Another team that has also been on a losing streak throughout Season 43 thus far. It's going to be, hopefully, an evenly matched game and an interesting match to watch. So once again, thank you for tuning into the stream. And how is, uh, how's it going? How are we all doing tonight? I don't even know if my mic is loud enough to go past the volume, the incredibly loud volume of this Ace V Lego little thing that I, uh, that I did up here. But hopefully it is. Oh, there actually is a little bit more to say. I uh, completely forgot. We do have a little bit of a lineup change going with this match. Uh, previous team member Budfly will not be playing in this match tonight. Instead, he will be subbed out by Anti. I think Anti Fun. Anti. Anti Fun. Hopefully not Anti Fun. Yee. But uh, yeah, that's going to be interesting to see. Player has been swapped out, and I'm, I'm really just genuinely hoping Arctic Ace is going to pull ahead here, get themselves a victory, secure themselves a foot in the door for season 43. It's uh, it's not terribly fun to watch the team that you're here casting for uh, get loss after loss. So if they start to pull ahead, I'm going to be very hyped. So we're just waiting for the players to all be in the match and ready to go. This is just some warm-up footage that we have showing right here. Budfly coming into the chat saying, let's go Arctic Ace. Budfly, what's going on? You want to shed some light on, uh, on, on what, what the occasion is and why Anti is, uh, is playing here as a rifler? I wasn't given any information prior to this. I just was given the the roster and I saw that you weren't on it. Oh, the knife fight is beginning and the match will be starting here. So we're going to let the desktop audio flow through so we can hear all these nice little squishy sense. Yeah, yeah, for sure, Budfly. Hop in, hop in. I'll pop into the live channel right quick. It'll It'll be a lot less lonely. I've been feeling lonely lately. Live channel one. Hello! Hello! How's it going, Budfly? Good to have you here. Good to be here. You ready for the best cast ever? I am absolutely ready for the best cast ever. You have experience, I'm guessing. <laughs> no. No? All right. That's fine. <laughs> Neither did I. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so um, Anti's playing, cause yeah. uh, yep, I'm no longer playing. You're no longer playing, so you're not part of the team at all anymore. Uh, I'll I'll be a sub or something. A sub, um, okay. Yeah, it was kind of last minute thing. Yeah, well, was there anything that did you just feel you weren't playing up to par, or? Uh, that and uh, just kind of not my priority right now to play CS, so. Um, I think it's better for them to have five players that all have the, the grind set that they they need to win. So. Yeah, no, that's absolutely fair. And as we get into round one here, the pistol round, it's something like uh, a very, very hard game from uh, the 
go peak V2 here. Bomb already planted. I mean, the entire Arctic Ace squad is still up. Magic, though, to get a head tap onto Anti. It actually looks like they maybe miss spot this round. They have two kits on the on the CTs here. Okay, and that wasn't intentional? No. no? Is, there, is there a reason why you'd only want to buy one kit? Oh my goodness. Yeah, so, oh my, the shots from Sandor there. Yeah. Um, yeah, so the one kit, typically you just want it because uh, on pistol rounds, it's not too much of like defaulting out, usually. Um, so you really only need one. Like, uh, everybody will kind of die around the same area if you're full retake like that round was. Um, okay, so yeah, just picking up off fighting. the corpse. Yeah, exactly. Okay, well it, w it was a first uh, first round win for Arctic Ace, so that miss by, I mean, even if it was a miss by, it's, uh, it was still a victory, so that's good. They're going to have the economy, they're going to have the money to buy guns here going into this. It looks like two A1Ss on Cyandor and comms, and uh, MP9s all around for the rest of the Arctic Ace gang. It looks like LEGO Peak is going to be taking, uh, taking a slow execute towards B here, or they're just going to be playing off picks. Yeah, so it does look like a, a B lean here, but they don't have any utility, so I don't think uh, there's a go kind of yeah. as good as possible unless they get that insta kill onto Sandor here. And it, it's not going to be the case. Sandor's just a little bit faster with that A1S and oh. gets two of them. Very nice. The flash from uh, Brick's coming out there as well. Lurky was able to trade it up, but anti is good. Getting two kills, and it's all down to Lurky. Sitting on B ramp here. He's able to get the Deagle. Do you think he's gonna land this shot onto Bricks though? Good flash. Flashbang came up from mid. It's good to see the, the teamwork happening early here. The SMGs, yeah. the only issue with that round is that the SM SMGs only got uh, two kills there for the CT, so they're not building up money as quickly as possible, but still a clean round regardless. I mean, any round one I'll take at this point. Fly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yep. All right, and it looks yeah. like a match pause. So what goes on during these match pauses? Uh, is it just discussion of the teams? Um, so I'm assuming this one is a tech pause, if I had to guess. I mean, it's only two rounds in. Um, so this one looks like a tech. Usually on the tactical ones, though, um, it's, it's a lot just to kind of reset mental. Um, if there's a string of rounds that just kind of go out of hand, then, then you want to kind of discuss what could be changed in your setups or, or what kind of... Um, game plan you should be focusing on. So, like if we're if we're stacked towards A and we keep keep losing A over and over and over, um, you know maybe it's a good idea to switch it up and just start playing retake. Just just have one guy playing full retake A. Just let them have A. It's not working holding it, and then you know focus the numbers elsewhere. Okay. Um, yeah, because honestly, a lot of the times whenever the match gets paused, I have no idea for. Well, I, I know I understand that there's some sort of discussion happening or a technical like a technical problem, but. A lot of the times it's like, well, I mean, if, if you guys lose five in a row and then the tech and then the pause happens, it's kind of obvious what's happening. Yeah. <laughs> but, th but this early on, so so you can just pause for technical issues and such. Yeah, exactly. And this one's definitely a technical because the attacks, um, like the tactical ones are only 30 seconds. Mm. Um, technicals can go up to five minutes. So um, not sure what exactly is happening here. Yeah, none of the players have left. None of them have come back. And Nano Skygen in the chat asking if that's the famous botfly. It is the famous botfly. I, I think you answered him way earlier, but I, I just like saying Nano. Nah, Skygen. I just ignored him. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah, not a huge fan of that guy, you know. Yeah, fair enough. Kind of a, kind of an a hole. For real. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I love, I love Nano. He's a good guy. Yes, All right, we love him. The match is going to continue here, and uh, I mean, full weapons on the LEGO Peak team on the third round in, of course, they're going to have those AKs all around. Lots of utility towards A site. And the CT has kind of deployed this, uh, this smoke at the bottom of uh, A ramp here, kind of giving a one way for if they want to go through some, some cheesy little peaks. Okay, yeah. A lot of utility coming up from the CTs here, but none of it's landing. I think that Molotov might have been a 
A misclick though. <laughs> yep, looks like it. Okay, but here comes the executes coming out. Nova tossing out the flashbangs, but no smokes, I think. Oh, Cyandor getting taken down to 20 HP. Mid. There was a, that was towards B site, but there was a trade out in mid. So uh, A might be a bit weaker with those trades. And Nova all the way up. There's Cyandor down for the count. Nova to take him out. And now they just have to secure bomb. It is a 2v2 situation. Lego peak. I mean, they, they have a little bit of a health disadvantage here, but... They have better weapons, unless Mick picks up something here in mid, and he does. Picks up the FAMAS off of Brick's corpse, and it looks like the set, the plant is going over towards A. I know so, it's the full utility as well in Magic, so making this uh, A take a lot easier here. Definitely is, and I think uh, Mick would have been able to hear that, and that's going to give them the cue that they need that to rotate over towards A. I mean, five seconds left on the clock, but... Plant goes down, and in a post-plant situation, Lego Peak just needs to hold these angles well and basically try and predict where the RKK's crew is going to be coming from. And it looks like uh, they're defaulting out of CT spawn here. It's not going to be good. Oh, Anti with a... No. He just said nope. Right that man's brains. Got another dink as well. Just through the wall, though. Yeah, not enough to finish him off, but... Uh, he might just save this weapon here. No, he's gonna push it, and Mick is able to, uh, to finish him out. Very clean start, and Cool Clump should get his op out here as well. Can always put up big numbers with that. I, I want to say yes, but. In the previous uh, in the previous couple of matches, he, he seemed to not be doing as well with the uh, AWP. But we're hopeful. Yeah. We're hopeful it's, that uh, he's going to be landing those headshots, those well body shots even with an AWP in it. Yeah, he's def definitely uh, hasn't been putting up the same numbers in the, the matches as the scrims. That's for sure. But I mean, this guy uh, watching him with the op when he's on, it's, it's unreal. I mean, it's already done. Oh, but that might be the caster curse in a 1v3 situation. It's new. Secure the bomb. And he looks like he's going to take him up with the max 10, but Nick's able to easily take him out, securing a fourth round for Arctic Ace here. Now, it is a very strong start for Arctic Ace, but I don't want to get my hopes too high yet. As, uh, I, I've seen in some matches the strong start comes out and yep, then definitely. It, it's like a switch flips off in the in the other team's head and they just begin decimating. So full full weapons on both teams this time going into round five here. Yeah, this will be a very important round uh, just based off the economy. I mean, I think the CT is here for five uh, next round, but we'll see. It will be very low utility. I'm just going to quickly take a moment here to turn you up there, Butterfly, just a little bit, because the sound effects are quite loud. <laughs> Alright, what did we miss here? We're down to a 3v3 situation. How did that happen, Butterfly? Do you want to give me a little recap? <laughs> yeah, so there was some trades out on the A ramp. Uh, T's were trying to contest it. There was some spam through smokes happening. Um, you know, a good trade from Mick on, onto the, the T kill. Put it into a 3v3 here. They were playing very passive towards B. Um, it looks like they're gonna have to be forced into a retake situation here, 2v3. Yeah, it's definitely looking like oh. oh, make that a 1v3. Cool comes with the AWP, and he's not gonna be facing the There it is. Nova able to take him out, and that is the foot in the door for Lego PV2. One round one, and it was an important one, like you said. Yep, so we'll see. Looks like a half buy coming out from the CTs will be what the play is. Arctic Ace on a half buy, unless... I wouldn't really consider a Deagle, it's a full save actually. Good news is we do have uh, 
Anti and cool comms have very great uh, deagles, so maybe they can make some magic happen here. Yeah, I mean, I'm hoping to see some magic. It's an interesting play, just uh, going for the full save here. I think that shot actually connected with uh, New's shoulder somehow through scaffolding. But uh, New is able to take bricks out, and all of the Arctic Ace players have already rotated around over towards the A side. The push. Cool comes is able to do a little bit of damage, but it's not more than he took. He's going to go out in the setup and he's ready. Almost two. Indoor, but it's two rounds, one for Lego. And I believe that is the coach in the chat saying, uh, oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> I don't even want to delve the coach. into that. I don't yeah. even want to delve into whatever sort of relationship you guys got going on. I mean, like, hey, it's, it's okay. To create a good atmosphere in the team. I swear that's, that's clearly, it. Clearly. Thank you for the follow, Temple. We always appreciate... I don't know why I call them Tempo. Temple. Thank you for the follow, Tempo. We love to see it. We love to see some support from the coach. And I don't believe my uh, auto director was on for that entire last round, but that's okay. He's got a lot of cool comms action. Yep. Sandor was kind of deep B here. He actually just saw some legs of, of one of the players on the tees, so he might get a cheeky kill here. Yeah, he is able to get it. Go. It's lurky down to the count. It's always good to scare those early game picks. Speaking of early game picks, there's a second one. I mean, P side is pushed up pretty deep into A here, but they. There it is. The smoke's come out. That's the execute. They're going to start pushing in, and it looks like our case is just going to back off, let them take sight, they're going to play for the retake. Oh, Nick the smoke. There. Very nice. I always love to see that. It seems like Nick does have a lot of luck when he plays through those smokes, because <laughs> a lot of the times he'll do that and just manage to... Oh, that is very cheeky what New just did there. Wow, what a clean round, though. 5 and 0. Oh. I mean, that's very good for Arctic Aces, uh, economic situation here. I mean, Anti had zero dollars left in the bank account. Same with, well, Cool Thumbs had 50. Well, look at this. Over on uh, Lego on the T side, Magic was up at 9,000. I think they may have bought Steve OP and off. Oh. No, they couldn't have. They're just, they're just becoming the team bank account here, it looks like. Yeah, so that's uh, that third round, I believe it was. Um, the T's probably could have bought up and just had a very low util, but they decided to actually half buy, and we're seeing it pay off kind of here in the later uh, later rounds here. They have a lot more money than they probably should have at this point. It definitely seems that way. That's some, a little bit of utility damage off on Nova here in Bricks. I mean, he's taken down 40 HP on the A ramp. A lot of, uh, a lot of the T-sided players are stacked up there. Underneath, as if they're going to do an A execute, but it looks like they're just waiting, uh, trying to see if anyone gets a little bit too aggressive on the flank. That's Nova to peek out mid anti spots him. So, in a situation like this, Budfly, does it get hard not to like push in too aggressively and like maintain control of your site? Oh yeah, I, I just run it down, honestly. That's why I'm not playing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's that's uh, that's a little bit why I asked, but... I... Yeah, no, so... Um, so the T's are definitely letting the, the CT's here get a little bit comfortable during the defaults. But uh, playing it slow usually, and then... We'll see, they seem kind of unsure of when they want to fully commit to this A site, but it looks like they're going now. Yeah, that was really... Did you see Bricks risk it for the base? He pushed in through the wall top, brought himself down to 4 HP, but he did manage to secure a pick. He got traded out almost immediately, and he's a bit of a player. Two players remaining versus two players, I mean, it evened out, all the trades came out, and oh my goodness, he was behind sandbags, but Cyandor is able to spot him. 
And the smoke side hall might cost them. They could have uh, probably saved that smoke. Oh, actually, he picked up another one. So now the bomb smoked as well. Yep. To some degree. I mean, comms is going to try and get the. Uh, try to take out the offer here, but Cyandor is going for deep using magic. Spray through the smoke, and he oh. is able to land the head tap. That's unfortunate for the Arctic Ace squad, but. The smoke knock fully covering the bomb. I think they uh, there's a lineup from where cool comes through that at. Uh, that's good for mollies and, and HEs, mm, but, but I guess on the smoke it doesn't land. Yeah. Yeah, it seems like it. I mean, I was I was surprised Sandor didn't go down uh, sooner because uh, when that play, when Magic I believe it was uh, peeked up, he saw his legs and looked at them for a full second, and that was a very aggressive play from Bricks, but it is a like a full save here. Desert Eagles all around. Some body armor on him. Cool comms, able to get one. So three beat four. Oh my goodness, he oh, secures wow. the AK and his aggression really paid off here. We're I got a few more here. Yeah. And he's going to be able to not secure the pick on you. Not right away, at least. NHP and a dream, Mew is able to survive that. And it looks like they're going to be taking the bomb slowly over towards the A site, but are they going to be prepared? I think a flank is going to come out from Anti here. No, it's not. I'm completely wrong. He's all the way up in mid. And the T still have almost two full belts of utility here, so another strong exec can come out and they can just play the post plant pretty comfortably here. No kits on the CTs or smokes. Smart to check sandbags. It's, uh, unfortunate that the utility was used and nobody was there. And there it is, Nova coming in with a quick plant. A lot of spraying through the smoke here. Even just one or two more kills here is, is seen as a su successful round. Some money off the hands of the T's. Yep. But there it is, one of them down for and a one D. And there it is. Cool comes wow. really pulling his weight there. Big 4K. Oh, was it a 4K? Yes, sir. I thought it was a three, but that's even better. And anti picked up an off as well, so I don't need to spend too much money getting that back on the hands of uh the yeah, cool comms here. Comms, yeah. There it is, back into his hands. I mean, financially, Coolcoms is swimming in money. 5,800, that's going to pay off if they uh, they were to take a loss at some point in the near future. And uh, the real Keith, thank you for the raid. Like a minute ago, we love to see that. A lot of aggression from Cyan there. there. Doesn't necessarily pay off. Pay off. He ended up taking a little bit more damage from that frag that was popped out by uh, <laughs> Lego. Then he was able to. Uh, I actually think out. that was cool comms HE. Oh, Got was it cool? Threw was it cool it, yeah. Oh no. Classic. That's that's very unfortunate. That makes it even worse. Okay, it's uh, it's fine because he was he was blinded. You know, can't oh, see. Yeah, you can't can't see. All good. <laughs> Can't see. Miss input. Miss input. Exactly. So it seems to me Lego really likes their A executes here. They are uh, consistently going for the A. I mean, they're good at them, so it makes sense. But yeah, see, Endor has been doing a, a really good job at pressuring towards B site, making them uncomfortable. So it's hard for them to get in that space during the defaults. So that's why they're uh, kind of going towards his A site. Is he going to get a second? Is the case, and it's down to a 2v4. Our case at a severe disadvantage here. Anti pushing right through the smoke, right in the cross. He is able to get the pick. Quickly trade it out though. Cyandor. Playing. I'm, is the middle of the site the boxes? Is it firebox? I want to call it firebox, but I don't know why. Uh, we just call it default. Default? Okay. Yeah. I'm probably thinking of Mirage. Fire oh, yeah. in the backside. Yeah. yeah, that's that's what I'm thinking of. We 
knows? Maybe they play Mirage some, some point this season. I, I think would hope it. so. I'm getting a little tired of uh, Vertigo, to be honest. <laughs> vertigo, yes. It's always Vertigo. Vertigo, Vertigo, Vertigo. Yeah, we're all tired of Vertigo. That's why he, uh, he keeps getting picked. Nick with a very quick uh, frag here. The aggression might pay off if he's able to get this uh, offer. Wolfhelm's just jumping over the bullets. Nick's still behind him. Yeah, no, he is. And there it is. A nice push right up to scaffolding. That's a, a weapon that's secured for Mick. Now the question is, is Mick better with the AK or with the A1S? I think the A1S needs to be nerfed. Isn't that uh, something that is being complained about? Uh, I think people have kind of grown used to it now. Um, okay. I've seen some people kind of switch off to the A4. Um, the thing is, it shoots a lot slower than the A4, so you won't get those instant kind of double dinks, uh, double headshots. Um, so really, it's up to preference. Definitely... Still a little bit stronger though, um, but I have seen some people go back to the A4 already. Okay. Yeah, no, I I have no I had no idea what the issue was. I just I think I saw one of the arcade players saying something about it. <laughs> I wish like, I saw that right before the match. Sander is in a really bad spot here. He's gonna get out of, out of cover, and Steve OP the shots off now to 2v3 and it is going to be a post plan situation they're going to have to retake the site they or should just get this save or Anthony can just kill everybody? yeah no Anthony's just going to go in there and uh wow okay do a heck of a lot of damage giving Bricks the uh ability to clutch it up show off his butterfly knife a little bit collect some utility and get that defuse no kit no clue ctqq <laughs> Seven rounds for Arctic Ace. Now they got to uh, they got to keep going this half and not lose focus here to to really bring it into a dominant CT. Yeah, I mean they are at a uh, three round uh, advantage here, but three rounds is very quickly lost. Oh yeah. Especially with the economy, how it is that they, they need to, uh, they, yeah, they need they to really secure. focus on keeping numbers up here. Yeah, they need to secure at least one more win and have their players, the majority of their players, alive by the end of it. And look at this, Nova, and he's able to secure the kill onto Anti. My goodness, I was not expecting that. It's his second uh, very aggressive round in mid. Only twice out of the twelve rounds, I guess it. Seems kind of unpredictable. Lurky, doing exactly what his name says. Able to take out Sandor on that uh, aggressive push through the basement. <laughs> I forgot what it is, under mid? So, uh, it, they just must there be stairs there. Um, taken out he's quickly traded up by mick 2v3 though it's not looking good lots of utility still on the lego peak side of things and once again they're gonna go for another a execute here on virgo the left side smoke missed though could give a little gap for the cts to work around while it off mick again spraying <laughs> blindly through the smoke able to let god guide his bullets they uh, they find their mark. Gaben himself. And Mick's gonna try to smoke off the bomb, but it's not playing a default. I don't think they realize that yet. No, they definitely don't. Is it possible to tell off. just from the audio cues? I would think so. Oh, there's yeah. another smoke here from the cool comms, and it's looking like Mick is not sure where the bomb is. Oh, cool comms! Cool comms, cool comms just. I don't need to see my enemy. Just show me where the bullets are coming from. The amount of smoke kills in this game, you think eventually Lego Peak would decide to go elsewhere with their uh, plants here. You would think so, but uh, I mean, if they if they keep doing these executes, it's going to be looking really good for uh, Arctic Ace. I mean, they're already at a four round advantage here. They're sitting pretty comfortable right now. Definitely. 
And we're seeing a, an A rush that looks like here from Lego yeah. Peak. Tech 9 A rush, one person has a beagle, it's magic. Let's see if they can work their magic and get a couple kills with that. Huge oh HG. Yeah, that's huge. That's big damage, and it looks like they're gonna. <laughs> they've learned their lesson, they're gonna fall off now. <laughs> Fall off now look at what the CTs are doing here. They're, they're leaving cool comms on the op, just solo, playing retake. Uh, actually, I guess mix here as well. But they're going into kind of a 2-2 two and two here, so they can support the rifles um, during the execs here. Yeah, I mean, they're expecting an AX. Oh my god, I can't talk. A execute. But it's looking like a very slow mid from Lego Peak here, and they're going to be able to get that head tap onto. They aren't in bricks. An aggressive peak, Nova goes down, and cool comms take him out. Yeah, players remaining, and there it is. Very, right very clean round from Arctic Ace. Only Bricks goes down, but he has the cash to afford a weapon. Yep, and they should be good for uh, for the last round, regardless of what happens here now, as far as uh, the money's concerned. Yeah, I mean, both teams are able to afford uh, full kits. In the last round here, but it's uh, yeah, the economy's not going to carry over, so it doesn't really matter. But I mean, it's just it's nice to see a change of pace here and see Arctic Ace sitting at a nice advantage. Yeah, they're looking very comfortable on the on the CT, and, and the rotations are very very good, playing around each other, really nice. Lurky will lurk no more, not until uh, not until they're over on the CT side at least. And the T's have no map control here. It's 40, 45 seconds into the round. They're T spawn or, or lower B by connector, and they just have no info, no map space. They're getting oh, picked off. That's Steve the second OP, pick here. Steve, Steve OP got a little bit of info. That info <laughs> was uh, Anti's playing mid, and uh, a bullet has struck his skull. Yep, not oh, the not Mew, the best Mew info. Shaking, no. Mew's shaking no. Oh no, there it is. Sandar goes down. Nick falls off very quickly. Puts the Molotov down to delay the push on the site and Magic and Nova are gonna have to make something happen here if they want anything to the ground a chance. It's passed. And it's Arctic Ace! The end of the second half. Uh, at the end of the first half, sorry, going into the second half. Ten rounds to Lego Peaks. Four. Very good stuff. We will, uh... Wait, no, the switch has no... One more round there. here. Yeah, there, there is one more round. I, my bad, I got all sorts of confused. Too excited, the team's winning, you're all... Uh, I, I, yeah, I know, I'm... Brain's I'm going crazy. <laughs> my, my brain hasn't felt this much uh, dopamine for a long while. So yeah, no, this is very tough for LEGO, that's... What I was gonna say last round that their financial situation they need to win the round or else uh, they're basically doomed here. I mean that's a nice bomb plant. He might be able to take Vic out here. No, he's not able to. He takes a lot of damage from that uh, Molotov. Getting lots of picks here. It's kind of looking scary for the CTs. I have faith. I have faith that Bricks will take out Nova, and I have faith that he's going to avoid that flashbang and completely shoot at sandbags for some reason. <laughs> okay, the cool comms got the one dig down. That is true. Alright, so, we're about to go into the second half. Before we do that, I'm going to quickly uh, tell you guys about, well, I'm going to let the video tell you guys about it. Attention gamers of all ages, there's a podcast you will want to add to your playlist. So We Gaming. So We Gaming was created for gamers by gamers. This podcast explores many topics from gaming entertainment, food, current events, and much, much more. They enjoy bringing on guests to learn about them. They discuss their favorite games, their passions, as well as helping to promote their brand. So We Gaming is available on Spotify, Apple Podcast, your favorite podcast player, and So We Gaming. Gaming.com. Add Zoe Gaming to your playlist right now.
Alrighty, that was So We Gaming. Go check out the So We Gaming podcast, uh, previous caster. So I'm Alex, hosts, or used to host that. I believe it is Dito DiBiase now that is the host of uh, So We Gaming. But uh, yeah, we are into the second half here. Very quick trade happens already on round one. Cool comms goes down, Muse quickly traded out, or vice versa. The order doesn't really matter. Steve OP is able to get a shot off on the scrub bricks. Sandor is getting really aggressive with uh, Nova here in scaffolding. He gets really aggressive oh. with Steve OP and it pays <laughs> off. I mean, Jesus. Yeah, they can actually, they can slow this down maybe. I think there's another smoke down that dropped on, on one of the bodies on ramp, so they could set up another left side smoke just to cause some chaos. Oh, that's a very nice frag. Mix down to 37 HP. One player playing ramp, one player playing sandbags, anti and sandbags, and oh my god, he's gonna go for the ninja. I'm gonna stick it. But Nick, <laughs> Again! You can smell them through the smoke, I'm telling you. Yep, you brought it up early game, and he's gotten probably close to 10 more after that, so. Yeah, no, he's. I think it's uh, what happened was, I'm gonna be honest, he missed one of those ninja defuses once, and he said never again. Yep, those will definitely scar you for life. It's always so frustrating to see it happen as well. Oh yeah. Anti leading the charge, getting a bunch of SMG money this round. It, absolutely. Lots of SMG money. He's uh, making sure that there's... Oh no, that that's going to hit bricks. <laughs> Okay, a little bit of friendly fires, uh, a little bit of friendly fires, okay. As long as it's only a little bit. The rotation's coming up from the CP side, and it is just chaos. Cool comms pushed all the way up to A. They're hunting them down. One HP in a dream, it's Lurky. I'm gonna take a look over at Lurky's perspective. It's too late, I couldn't even switch to his perspective. <laughs> all five SMG kills. He's already down for the count. So unfortunate. But not for our case. <laughs> They're up 13 rounds. Lego Peak still sitting down at four. I mean, it's starting to look like it's a little bit of domination here. Yep, those are the round that decide that they close it out in a 16-4 fashion or not. I'll trust your word, Budfly, but I've seen miracles happen <laughs> before. Very early utility damage off on Nick. We're gonna switch back over to the auto-directed view, but it wants me to look at Lurky, and that's exactly why if he goes down, Bricks goes down, it's Mick and Sayandar left. Nano in the chat talking about the new headshot flavor. Don't worry, Nano, we'll get to it. The Molly almost got three kills there. CT is maybe greeted a little bit too much. Was looking really close for a second there, like you said, the Molly almost got three kills, but there it is, Lego Peak, they're going to be able to defuse the bomb without a kit. Money's and, uh, actually still in the favor of the of the T's here. Oh yeah, the T's will be broke after this buy. The money's definitely still in their favor, but like you said, it was a, an important round in seeing if Arctic Ace was going to close it out 16-4 style. And it looks like that's not going to be the case, because uh, Lego Peak's now sitting at five rounds, Budfly. Yep, of course. What's I have to go ahead here? and say it. Now it's 16-13, we can wrap up the stream. Yeah, that's absolutely <laughs> true. Lego Peak V2, uh, truly, they are the the ones that I am voting to win this. Uh, oh! Cool comms with the miss there. Could have been an awesome opening for the T's. Definitely could have been. Unfortunately, he did. Uh, he did whiff the shot. A little bit of spray through the smoke. Mick is the one getting smelled out this time. A little bit of damage done to him. It's kind of looking like the the teaser trying to go into a mid B split here, which would be a good call. 
I'm, I'm definitely seeing it leaving Sandor over towards A, putting a little bit of utility in just to sort of divert attention away from where the action's actually going to be happening, but the cat is out of the bag now. Yep, now the CTs have kind of shifted into a setup against uh, that mid B, so we'll see if the T's end up canceling on that. Steagle Looks like they are. Very cheekily positioned here. That is so unfortunate for Sandor. I don't think he's going to notice. Yep, that could be the round right there, based off Steve-O's position. I mean, that's one pick. Is he going to be expecting the other person hiding behind scaffolding? It's too late. They've already retreated back to site. They're giving up control and uh, letting the executioner know here from the two side of things. I mean, 3v3 things are still pretty easy here. It could go either way. Mick's going to get the plant in default. And cool comes in playing back over towards sandbags. It's the smart thing to do when you have the AWP. Lurky goes down and Cool Comms is able to finish it up. Arc and Ace sitting at 14 rounds. Lego Peak still at 5. Lego Peak are, are forced into a kind of a save here. They definitely are. I mean, Matt, the highest amount of money on their team right now, 30-50 enough for buy but only for one player they definitely don't want to spend that yeah, it looks like just a deagle on the 3050 deagle on uh, nova deagle on magic as well i think a 5-7 on you if i'm not mistaken and steve o P. I i almost called it a p90 but that's an smg <laughs> <laughs> The CTs are pushing through B here, but Coolcom is definitely ready for that. Gonna have to set up just waiting for the the aggression with the pistols. And I mean, a little bit of Molotov as well. Brick's able to get that kill even though his flashbang didn't do anything. It was, a, it was definitely a flashbang for if he was hiding right around the corner, but he was actually up top of the staircase. And Mew hiding as well. Right at the edge of B ramp. Steve O2 getting aggressive, pushing up into mid, and Anthe's able to punish that. You, and it all comes down to magic. Magic able to score a wall bang kill onto Bricks, actually. And a whiff oh, from Blue comes. Another one. It's a very good thing that the rest of the Arc Gaze squad was there to uh, back up Cool Comms, because I think he was a little bit panicked right there. But 15 to 5, I mean, Arctic Ace, they are they're playing their butts off. Yep, they're playing really well this game. It looks like they uh, they definitely went through some offline practice stuff to just talk about how they want to set up on the anti-ecos, at the very least. Those look uh, very clean this game on CT half as well. For sure, for sure. I mean, how are, how are you feeling about the, about the team, uh, Buttfly? Uh, I think it's definitely a... Oh, of course. I think Anthe's an insane aimer as well, so they'll always be putting up numbers. I mean, he's definitely putting up numbers. But, uh, I mean, we can't get too, our, too ahead of ourselves here. Lego could take this round. Oh, a very nice boost from Nova. Anthe didn't even see it coming. Here comes the video to get this shot. No, he's not. Wall bangs him, brings him down to 20 HP, and then has to fall off. A 3v5 situation. Arctic Ace is advantage here. Make that a lot of bit of a disadvantage. Now into a 2v3. Pretty low utility for, for both teams here. Yeah, it's all that. Get one, but he's not able to get a second one, and that's going to be Lego Peak taking another round here. But Arctic Ace, I mean, financially, they're doing swell. They're doing great. Yeah, they probably can't get the op onto cool comms here. Um, we'll see. Oh, no, they end up being able to. Must have been a gun on the ground there. The CTs, though. One from Oss and one player with no utility at all, so looking a bit rough for them. Yeah, they're definitely w looking worse for wear, but... I mean, depending on how they play this out, if they... Both the angles, but no, they're just gonna get very aggressive with it. Mew to go down in mid, and he's the one to take him out. 
and they have actually dropped the bomb there. Uh, oh no, that's that's under. Never mind. The mini map always confuses me on Vertigo. Yeah. Vertigo, Nuke, and the Overpass. Always confusing mini maps. But I mean, I think this is it, that Budfly. I don't want to. I don't want to say anything too soon. All right, he jinxed it. Soon. No one's gonna get a five-man clutch here. Yeah, CTs are nowhere to be seen here, so they have all of A site, all of bottom ramp. The scrub breaks holding bottom ramp, gets the pick there, and then they also have a close by elevator in heaven as well, so pretty locked out of the round. I say that, but he gets two. I actually do have a cheeky way that I could tell, but there it is. <laughs> That's gonna be the match. Arctic Ace with their first win of season 43. Let's go! Yeah, Let's I'm go! hyped. I'm glad I was I was waiting for this for a while and uh I mean yeah it's great Budfly. <laughs> Never mind, I'm not gonna be rude. Budfly was the problem, guys. <laughs> yeah, Budfly was the problem. We're uh, all thinking it. it it's uh, it's your mouse, it's your mouse, don't worry. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No. Uh but yeah, I mean that was great. I I'm glad to see Arctigase finally win one. And uh, do you have anything you'd like to say, Budfly, before we uh, before we close this out? Yep, Arctic Ace are uh, winning advanced season, whatever this season is. Forty three. <laughs> Forty three. How are you a They're player? And you don't know which season it is. <laughs> <laughs> whatever. All right, guys, we're gonna. I just like to tell you guys about a little quick thing, and then we're gonna raid out. Uh, and that thing is headshot energy, Budfly. You can attest. You like headshot, right? I love it. You love it? Not just for gaming, for work as well. Gets me going through it the whole whole day. I'm I'm pumped all the way until the end when my shift ends. Then after that, I'm pumped all the way through gaming as well. It's awesome. I mean, it, it's definitely awesome. Do you know why it gets you that pumped, Budfly? Um, the 200 milligrams of caffeine, probably. Well, uh, also has a bunch of vitamins. I mean, I was going to say it's because it's an energy formula that's like no other. That offers extreme mental focus, clarity, and mood enhancement, resulting in increased productivity and creativity. Uh, and it provides your daily vitamins and immune support to keep you on the top of your game with less downtime. It is unquestionably the ultimate energy formula without the crash, leading you to experience a feeling like you've never felt before. And also, there are uh, two flavors, Blue Raz and Green Apple, but also... <gasps> There's a new flavor. What's that? Oh my a goodness. new flavor? Budfly, do you know what that new flavor is? It's mango. Mango. Oh. You are so close to being <laughs> right, but yet not entirely. It is no! orange mango. And you can <gasps> uh, you can get yourself a little tub of orange mango and support the Arctic Ace team and get 10% off with code Arctic Ace at checkout. Thank you very much, everybody, for coming out and joining us. It was great having you. We're going to send the raid over to Castabel. Peace out, guys. GG.